Hunting Games Go Hardcore, StarCraft Out of Legos, and a Mario Brothers musical. I'm Dan Resler. It's the 31st of July, and this is Gamer Update. Have you ever wanted a 15-inch tall statuette of the tank from Left 4 Dead? Have you ever wanted to pay $300 for said statuette? Well, now you can. Not even joking, it's $300. And if you want to pay $25 more, you can get an exclusive version of the statuette that comes with a little teeny-weeny pump-action shotgun. Aw, so cute. You know what goes great with overpriced merchandise? Vietnamese politics. A few days ago, the Vietnamese government, after seeing a slight incline in crime that's related to MMO games, has put some pretty serious restrictions on all MMO games. For instance, no advertising for online games is allowed within the country, and no new online games are allowed within the country until a further decision can be made. No new games. That, wow. Accidental double entendre there. I meant wow as in whoa, that's crazy, but also World of Warcraft is screwed. So hey, it turns out even hunting games can be hardcore. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011 is coming out late fall 2011 and is dangerous and hunting. So apparently on this game you're on an African safari and a community of African tribes has been terrorized by the local animals, so the natural thing to do would be shoot all those animals in the face. It's called Dangerous Hunts, and the whole slogan for the game is the hunter becomes the hunted, but you have a gun and they have claws. I think, I think you're gonna win. All versions of the game, except for the DS version, come with a plastic gun peripheral, because apparently we don't have enough plastic controllers lying around. So apparently this is becoming a thing. Last week I showed you a StarCraft II map that looked and played just like Flo. Well, check this out! It looks and plays just like the new Xbox Live Arcade game Limbo, but it's not Limbo, it's Little Big Planet. Crazy, right? Okay, we're definitely gonna make this a weekly thing. It's gonna be game that is in another game of the week. Done. The first DLC for Metro 2033 is coming out next week. It's called the Ranger Pack. It adds a few weapons as well as two new difficulties, Ranger Mode and Ranger Hardcore Mode, both of which dramatically have reduced the amount of ammo in the game, but also increased the amount of damage that bullets do, both to you and by you. So, two-way street. You wanna know what's awesome? Mario. You wanna know what else is awesome? Musicals. You wanna know what's doubly awesome? The two together united as one. Bam! In Washington DC this week was the premiere of Super Claudio Bros, a musical based on the Mario Brothers. So judging from the idea, pretty much everyone thought it was going to suck, but apparently from gamers and non-gamers alike, it is really frackin' awesome. I listened to a few of the songs. Bam, it's good. Bam. That <laughs> sounds like a cuss, but I didn't. Never been a problem I couldn't jump on. Yeah, that's a song. <laughs> That's a song called Jump On from the musical Super Claudio Bros. If you live in DC, there's zero excuse for why you shouldn't be there right now. I wish so badly I was. Moving on to something else that's awesome, look at this. Yeah, that's StarCraft 2 out of Legos. I don't even like StarCraft, and that is wow. That is double wow. That's like three wows in a row wow. If you want to see the whole video, it's in the description. It's super detailed. You should check it out. So apparently, if you don't like the game part of video games, you can apparently bypass that step entirely. In Metroid Other M, there's going to be a theater mode wherein the two hours of cutscenes from the game are all mushed together into a big movie, and you can skip the game aspect entirely if you want to. Hey, speaking of, there's a new trailer out for Metroid Other M. Link in the description. There's a new trailer out for Halo Reach giving off some more details of the campaign. There's a link in the description. In related news, OMG, 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 Halo Reach is coming out. Now, there's no denying that GLaDOS from Portal is one of the best video game villains of all time. I mean, she's funny, she's violent, she's a robot, she's got a lot going for her, but I would say her biggest problem is that you can't sleep on her. Well, no more! A series of GLaDOS plushy pillows have been released, one for each of her eyes and aspects of her personality, and when you squeeze them, they do little quotes from the game. PlayLogic, that's the developer behind Fairy Tale Fights, announced three days ago after some concern that there was no way they were bankrupt and not to worry about it. It's just a little hard to believe, considering how Yesterday, they filed for bankruptcy. So the cool people at AgriGames condensed all of the tweets of the last year into this image. The larger a word is on the image, the more times it was tweeted, and the smaller the word is, the less times it was tweeted. So naturally, the big ones are things like Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, and then going from there, you've got other big ones like World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, things like that. But here's here's the depressing, the, the killer, the killer. This one is Alan Wake, that little tiny dot. I personally blame all of you for this failure. MAG is making their version of Deathmatch faction neutral in an attempt by the company to be less stupid. So here's a good story, Valve accidentally banned 12,000 legitimate Modern Warfare 2 players last week because their anti-cheating software registered them all as cheating even though they weren't. 
Luckily for those people, Valve is awesome even when they fail because Valve quickly got those accounts unbanned, obviously, and then each and every one of those 12,000 people got a free copy of Left 4 Dead 2 for themselves and one to give to a friend, so kudos, Valve. Way to make up for it. So the PS3 version of Netflix got a search option this week, which is a good idea because generally you want to watch a specific movie and not just, you know, any movie. You know, anyone will do. I don't, I'll just watch anything. I pretty much use Netflix exclusively on my Xbox, but now that the PS3 has search capabilities, I'm probably going to switch it over because it's really inconvenient to have to go all the way to your computer, add it to your instant queue, then go back to your Xbox. That is total suck. Microsoft, get on it. And last but not least, the achievements for Halo Reach have been released. If you want to see those, there's a link in the doobly-doo. There's a new episode of Onset out, which unfortunately has 100% less lightsaber battles, but 100% more robots, so I made it up to you. Also, if you like the music from those Onset videos or these videos, they're all done by one of our members, Bridges, and now he has his own website for that music. There's a link in the underbar, so check those two things out, and I will see you next week, internet. Bye.